Hello everyone and welcome back to another exciting video. Today we're looking around RTR's fantastic creations that they built over the seasons on the LSG server. And I'm joined here by Storm. Hello. Storm is one of RTR's faction members. You've had a few different members over the time and as we go through the creations we'll uh, we'll try our best to list who's been building what. So the first thing we're actually going to have a look at down here is the airfield. Now was this from the, the last season of the Gulf or the one before that? This was from the very first Gulf, so before we had to reset with the the rock glitch. Okay, so so this is a little airfield setup. We've got a few cool little aircraft. We've got the classic Red Baron. We've got ourselves a bomber of some kind, some B-17 perhaps. We've got the classic flying Thomas the Tank that you'll see plagues the RTR faction. Um, a little bomber. You guys were developing these little bombs throughout the seasons, weren't you? That were merged block attached, I believe. Yeah, we actually ended up having, um, and I think I, I ended up save, taking this save before we had before it was built. But over in in one of these little warehouses, we ended up having lines of these bombs, ah, yes, um, just racked up so that we could go out, bomb somebody, swing back in, and rack them up again. Yeah, it was quite cool. That. And then we've also over here, I think, got one of your favourites, the Chitty Bang Bang uh, yes. flying car. Is, was this actually cut? Did this see any combat, or was this more of something around the base? It's just purely decorative and i think that's a problem we tend to have at rtr is we like a lot of decorative builds and i remember you flew this you taught you taught our base and you flew this and uh my favorite bit was oh please storm storm don't worry i'm not gonna crash into your building it's okay it's okay storm. <laughs> uh, so over in the last thing we've got we've got a little printer in there and we've got this large white plane this one's got a ramp at the back and is it a slight oh it's got a full well not a full interior it's got an empty interior so i guess a vehicle could drive out the back here and a little respawn bay very nice indeed nice to see over here we've got the monorail system that i believe was one of the first monorails that someone tried on the server and we tend to be a little bit against the moder monorail sort of things because they can be a little bit glitchy but you guys managed to get back and forth between the airfield a very short distance with it <laughs> very cool yes we used it a few times, but we, like you said, we did find that it did clang out. So we had to change it a few times, mm -hmm. and then we ended up just kind of, I think, deleting it for the greater good. Was is the monorail in here, or is this not? It's not been. No, pasted it was. In? It was. A, it was a separate grid, so it wasn't attached when I when I took the blueprint, unfortunately. Oh, that's a shame. So over here, we've got ourselves a little RTR miner. We've got the helicopter. That's pretty damn cool. This is like a Huey with an interior as well, with the rocket pods, fully walkable. I think it's got some doors that we've that are currently turned off at the moment. That's very cool indeed. So that's, that's pretty much everything on the airfield. Which way should we go from here? Should we go around through the vehicles? So yeah. over here we've got ourselves a crane. Now this is one I believe I haven't seen before. I no, it was Casper who's the, the founder of RTR um, was playing around with in my world with mo and moving some of the stuff around including our many Thomas the Pain Trains. Oh, okay. um, and so put it in. So it's not seen a live LSG iteration yet. Ah, so so the the train thing. Where did the Thomas the train thing come from? Or was this just because one of those respawn vehicles was a train, and then Casper obviously took it, you know, to the next level? So it was Casper who submitted it actually. Oh, for the, oh the yeah, he was, wasn't it? Um, and I actually think it was this one just over here, and it was for Mad Aaron Two. Uh, and it was never actually supposed to be a thing. It was a gag one because half of it is heavy armor. There's a there's an ore detector. It actually broke many of the the specifications for a respawn rover, uh, and no nobody caught it, and it got put in, and everyone realized it was amazing because it's heavy armor. Yeah, so it I didn't, know. It didn't I... flip, and then it just became a running gag, and we ended up making a huge one on Man Aaron Two. We ended up making Thomas the Plane Trains. It was a bit of an exploit, wasn't it, I remember? Because people would keep mm. respawning until they got it, but I let it pass because I, I secretly loved Thomas the Tank as a kid, but we'll, we'll keep going. We'll forget about that. So we've got <laughs> a, li a little car going on here with a nice bonnet ornament. Is that a Space Nart one? No, this is a Casper one. Oh, this okay. was Mad... This was Mad Aaron... No, or oh, it doesn't, it doesn't matter. Oh, a scrap yeah. lands one, and then we've got this rover. Now, this rover got converted in some of the road ahead sort of builds later on that I think you've mm. seen, but this one was quite a cool one. It's got the little eating factor up at the front. Let's get rid of this fog before I bloody go blind. Weather, remove weather. There we go. Back to it. So we've got two other little rovers here. These are little ones with little shovels and lots of little shovels going on all these, and they've got the engine at the front. These are pretty cool. Protected cockpit as well. A nice bit mm -hmm. of fire. Were these used by the faction, or were these for the rotor heads when Casper would take part in that? A bit of both. Um, Mad Aaron, the first season. Actually, most of most of our iterations, or most of the seasons, we've been a trading faction. 
Uh, and that really kind of took off in Mad Aaron 1, where we reproduced and sold a load of vehicles. These were included. You'll see some down the line where we've adapted uh, some of Husker's builds, some mm-hmm. other community members' builds. Um, so these were originally where they came from. Any information? And I know they have been changed for star uh, for drf stuff as well what's what's this one here and where's this one seen because i don't remember ever seeing this one unless this was this was technically pre-rtr but casper wanted it here uh, as a kind of kind of memento to see if you know to see if you remembered and it was to do with drf and inic um it was like a one week special uh, event a uh, special week thing this is a while ago i think oh, before... okay okay towards the start of LSG. And then over on this one now. What? Stop! Stop snowing and raining on me! <laughs> there we go. Stop the weather again. So over here we've got ourselves... I remember that this thing was actually really well armoured and protected. It, it was a bit sluggish to move around, but it had the mm-hmm. full interior. What was this, like your slave train or something you called it? Yes, it's, it's Big Gertha. Because uh, <laughs> she get, she's girthy. Um, we adapted her to have the... the um, What's it, what's it called? The blast doors are all around cause, so she could take a fair whack. And she was designed as a as like a slave trawler. Mm-hmm. Yeah, then if you go inside, she's got How'd cages you get where in? you How'd can trap you get in people. This thing? Is it around the back? Uh, round the back, yeah. Round the back. Oh, and yeah. Then there's a little ramp. Oh, okay, I see. Oh, yeah, so you've got these little pods and then you've got, yeah, you've got your little upstairs area in here. And this is where there's a respawn yeah. kit. Oh, very nice. Exactly. I like the balcony then, on this one as well. I thought this was weird but cool. Yeah, because we, because I think we were having issues in that, so uh, that season with remote controlled um, turret towers. Yeah. So that was one of our ways around it was we would have somebody standing on their balcony just firing with a gun. <laughs> so coming over here now, we've got some of the cars that are adapted. You said that this one was adapted from a workshop garbage truck. We've got yeah, some of the gun. some of the respawn rovers adapted because I believe that one was a Huskers from the Gulf that looks like it's been changed mm-hmm. up. We've got another Husker one from uh, the Scraplands adapted by RTR, and a lot of these were were basically sold as well by you guys as a mm-hmm. part of trading. We've also got a big Gertha one with a remote turret on the top. Yes, and then I think this was we were trying to do a tower a, a, a remote turret tower, and then it just. It, the the gyros and it just wasn't working properly mm. so then we we ended up just taking it off and um, then this is the classic rtr rover this, this is the one that when we first bumped into you guys and you joined the server you and neil uh we, this is what we saw you going across with bright pink though wasn't it at the time if i remember or was it yeah, sparkly so it, was, it, it was originally the, the, like the disco armor bright pink and then we ended up any time it was repaired the, uh, like it, uh, it took on a different color oh, and so at okay. one point it was a hideous mix of like pink and green and orange and then we just decided enough's enough but this this design has has been through many versions i don't have them all here oh, i know this isn't true. the most up to date um but yeah. this particular rover has 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 come across almost every single iteration we've been on right let's get our foot down anyway because we've got a lot to get through and we need to kind of camp mm-hmm. get this all in so we've got some more rovers of course for trading we've got one with a wheel in a really interesting position there on the front i don't know if the axles broke off and then we've got okay. a a classic little rover on the side i think i've seen this one a few times was this another casper one yeah Oh, very exactly. cool. So let's go over to Underworld now. So on Underworld, this was the giant fish, and I'm not going to cover this one too much because we've actually got a video on this one individually for you guys to check out. But it was a really cool... What, what was the, the TV... Was it based on a TV series? Or, yeah, um, Lost City of Atlantis. Yes, that was it. So you've got this giant oh, fish. Right. It, yeah. it really fitted in, and it also had some awesome features. But I cover that in another video, so we'll have to check that out. Coming over oh, yeah, here... Oh, sorry, Storm, what was that? It was Treasure Planet. That Treasure was Planet. Treasure Planet. So coming over here, we have RTRs, some of their first creations from the server, as well as mixed in with some of the last season. So when they first came, they actually took control of, was it an, a little NPC mock-up town that we did on the first Mad Aaron? Yes, exactly. And it was it was actually the, the these four grids over here. Let me just turn the power on. Um, and yeah, it, we took over... Um, an NPC, you, you just put in like four or five yeah. buildings that would... Uh, Damage buildings. Would, exactly, exactly. Um, you, you then t- t- kind of t- took them, didn't you? And you kind of added this fallout aesthetic to them. I don't know if that's the best way of describing it. That's what it kind of feels like. Yeah, you... exactly. 
So we've that's got... The, that's the vibe we went for. <laughs> yeah, so we've got the garage. We've got what was originally the trading centre over there, I believe. And then we've got the building across the way that had the burning people on that. You got really upset about it, didn't you guys? When You know, when it fell off or something, <laughs> we had to reinstall it for years. Yeah, because so. we, we were so honoured because we had the only, like at the time, had the only technically working thruster on the entire server. And it was purely decorative. And then somebody <laughs> shot it down. And we were heartbroken. We were like, no, it needs to come back. <laughs> so coming over this side, this was the upgraded garage and upgraded tower building. The Trinity Tower, I think you've called it. The garage itself was was really cool. I, I think we'll have to, we might have to access the, the power to go inside it. Uh, yeah, let's, I'll turn it on. let's uh, fire this building up if we can. On there. Oh, you might have to fire it up. If you got it going, we can have a sneak peek in here. Oh, there you go. So the flags are now activated. And we can go ourselves in. Now, how much of this build... It, oh, you've got some of the later rovers in here as well. Yeah. Because that, that was one of the upgraded ones. And that's an upgraded van from the original one. Dodgy Trader Joe. Uh, over on this that's side. My, my favourite van, that van. <laughs> and then we've got this rack. Now, this rack was here, wasn't it, when you came? Or was this something you guys had put in? No, so again, this was a case of we... Um, so this was originally part of Luther Town, which oh, was an yeah. NPC of, of event that you guys put in. And we, we took it over. It, there was It was heavily fortified because you guys knew that we would come for it. Mm -hmm. um, I think I think Conrad knew specifically that we were going to come for it. So he did not make this easy. I think I died about 10 times trying to help to capture this town. Oh, it was worth um, a capture. Definitely. But yeah, that rack was part of it. Oh, very cool indeed. So then you've got the tower with the multiple floors. I've been inside there in the actual server tour, but you can see it's very tall. And at the end event, when Luther Town got took over, I believe Comrade mounted a giant turret up on the top. That was really cool. Give you a great field of view, but we'll continue on. So coming over to here, we've got one of your favorite bases, isn't it? I think this one was this from Scraplands or Frozen. Which one was this one we're looking at? Here? Um, so we have we've got two. Yeah, they're both from Frozen. So we ended up having so this one that was kind of spread out with the the planes um, on the little landing pads. So that was the first one we built, and then mm -hmm. something happened with the, I think the cleanup, and it got it got deleted. No. So then we ended up relocating and building that. That tall one, which I know you've toured a few times. We, that's where we had our mad scientist lab, where we were experimenting on biological yeah, we, yeah, weaponry it, and it, stuff. They were cool, very cool, these. And in the server tours, if you guys remember back to them, um, the detailing inside them was really nice. And they, you kept the same aesthetic throughout it. We've also got another large rover here. Rovers have really yes. become quite a popular thing on our servers. And it's nice. I like the sky bridge, though. Look at that. That's a yeah, fun this, so this feature. was this was Scraplands, this particular build. Mm-hmm. Um, and again, we've got another one of the RTR uh, Niels rovers. You can see a, a, an adaptation of that. Where I think I don't think turret towers were allowed, so we only had one Gatling on the top. Mm -hmm. um, so you can see it, it evolves and follows us round through all of our seasons. It's quite fun. Yeah, it's nice. It's nice that when players evolve the same thing. So let's continue on. So moving away from that, we've got ourselves another little tower base. We've got ourselves at this mini aircraft carrier. Now, I remember Casper coming to an event with this, and he was trying to pilot this while launching fighters. It was all it was all, it was was all, all really cool. There was a lot of interior turrets on it as well. Quite a bit of firepower. Nice to see. We've got that other outer base. That Was that another one on Scraplands, this one? No, so this was the second of the Frozen ones. Oh, so okay, yeah. this was yeah. the one that, that had the uh, the science lab and the, ele the, the elevator lift thing. So he doesn't and look the same. A... When you know when it's not in the ground. Yeah, yeah. Well, exactly. So, so like a vast proportion of this was underground. Um, like you can see the ramp here that that went to to ground level. So there was a huge amount of this was actually in the voxels. Yeah, there's a big facility under here with the various different cages that they guys put in. But we covered that in the server tour. So. We'll yeah. pop back up and we'll have a little bit more of a look through some of the RTR creations. So coming over here, this I have to say this one was one of my favourite ones. What disappointed me is Space Engineers just couldn't handle the boats. Yeah. Um, because this this was literally a full coastal town they had built. You've got to imagine that there was like a, a rocky port area that was nice and sandy behind it. It was lovely. They had the clock towers. And you guys started installing different bits in some of these buildings so they were more than just... You know, pretty. Oh, they yeah. started to put cars in them. We've got, we've got a church over here. Yeah, you had a, you had a control room in one of them. Yeah. Oh, there. <laughs> oh, it's, it's great. It was it was really nice. You had the lights going along the front. But what kind of mm -hmm. did you in was that the ships just started taking up a lot of performance, didn't it? This I think this yeah. was around when you joined the admin team, wasn't it? Or. Uh yeah. So I I think I joined the admin team just before Gulf. So the the airstrip and this I think were like the first time I was. Properly admining, I think. So or, or frozen. I honestly can't remember. It's it, we've seen so many seasons now. So we had a really nice boat here. This one's a drill boat. 
you can see. I think that was the, one of the first ones you built. Then you built the flying, yeah. floating carrier with some cool little helicopters and ships on it as well. And then you had um, this boat here that you actually will see in an upcoming event on the server um, in the latest version. We've got we've got quite an exciting one with Comrade and the guys re-equipped this and got it battled up, ready to go. So that'll be exciting to see. And then over here, we've got ourselves a lighthouse. We've got these. I remember when you built these deck chairs, Storm. Or, I was or... so proud. So I'm not, I'm not, I'll hold my hands up. Like RTI is a faction that I don't build like gr grids, ships, planes, rovers. I don't build, I can build houses. I can, so, and, and things like that. So these, these deck chairs, I was so proud of <laughs> these deck chairs because it took me ages to try and figure out how how they would look right. Yeah, yeah, and then you nailed it. And I remember thinking you saying, "Oh, Aaron, look, look, make sure you look at that bit." And then we've got the crusty crab that I was actually really impressed with. I thought this was really fun, uh, especially because behind the bar you had <laughs> SpongeBob. There was, hang on, there was a, there was a bit more in here. I think you must have got an yeah, older version. It's no, it's, oh, there it, they is. Were separate, it was a separate grid. Oh, so yeah. So the, the bit with Squidward was a separate grid, so I forgot about that when I copied it, unfortunately. Lovely. So that is most of the creations, I believe. Is there anything we've missed, Storm? Anything you, you'd like to recover? What what would you say your favourite creation is of all time? Would it be the deck chairs? I, well, per, like, pers personally, personally, probably the, the deck chairs. Yes, <laughs> I, I actually I like all of our grids. Like I, like I have mem I have fond memories for every single base, every single rover. I, I just I, I look at like the giant Thomas the Tank Engine, like the huge one, and I just remember Casper jumping mountains to go and help a new p player <laughs> because they had been base raided. I look at um our like the the luther town or i look at the uh, the original mad Aaron, which is where rtr founded we were a faction of three people up until the gulf yeah like it was literally casper neil and i and then in gulf we we brought on two others uh, the three others space nort grevs and uh, a player called crazy crayley um so i just have fond memories looking at everything and i i, I, I opened That's up good. this world again recently and space nort and grevs hopped back in and they were going Oh my goodness! Do you have this? Do you have that? Oh, can we blueprint it? Oh, do you remember when we did this? And it was just so nice for like a solid half an hour, an hour, just sat <laughs> reminiscing about the crazy stuff we got up to. Oh well, well, thanks for bringing this on and showing us. Let us know, guys, in the description which of these builds is your favourite, and I will see you guys next time.